morning, everyone. How's everybody doing this morning? It, this is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. I welcome you all to my channel. It is a, I don't know if it's a beautiful day out, but it's a kind of sunny day out. Uh, we had snow overnight into this morning, and the roads were just, ice and the plows were out and the salt shakers were out this morning several times just getting the road you know so that you could drive on it so uh yeah and it's minus six and i think it's going to a high of minus two i believe so here i am working on birdhouse and um, I've had quite a few comments on it that you like this. Um, I like it too. It's uh, quite beautiful and I love the birds. And then there's a cat over here that kind of sort of looks like Jonah or Sydney. More like Sydney because that's Troublemaker. So I'm going to continue working on this. I'm working right here on the black, which is in this pink. So I'm going to work on that. And, oh, somebody was asking, Wendy, I believe, how it is that if you have to go up, uh, stitch up, so that you can maybe go this way or something, right? Okay, so what you do is, I'm just showing this as a for instance, okay? It's, I'm just, I'm just doing this because I'm doing this over a big, a big block here again. there. Let's put the light on. Okay. So say I'm going up, up this way. And I want to do it so that I can um, con continue stitching, but say to the left or the right. Okay. So then what I do is I will go this way and you see here where I'm setting it up there you see that so I'm making my first arm this way my second arm is down here and so that I can continue up that way I will put come on there. Do you see that? I'll put my needle here on the diagonal so that I can start here. You see here? So that I'm in this block. And I will do that again. So I go this way as if I'm doing just a regular X. So there's my first arm. This is my second arm, and because I'm still going up, and I will bring that up here, okay? So you still get like that Z here on the back. And again, I will show you. So it's here. So from bottom left to top right, top right to top left, down to bottom right and bottom right to top left. Okay. And that's all there is to it. So that all my stitches 
go the same way. And that's it. So you see how that looks. Whether you go from top down or top uh, or bottom up, it should still look the same like this. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So one day was that clear as mud? <laughs> uh, it's not hard. Honest to goodness, it's not difficult. It's not difficult. It's just a matter of think where you want to put your next stitch. And if it is that you put your stitch and you put it in the same hole that you just went down. Okay, so fine. So then just do it. Look at what you're doing and what you need to do and just do it again. And um, it's very straightforward. I know that you think, oh yeah, yeah, sure it is. Sure it is. Clear as mud. As clear as a septic tank in the middle of summer. Yeah. But it really is. It, it really is. So, because here, see, I'm working from um, the right to the left. I turned it, I turned the fabric upside down. You can't do it this way from side to side, but you can do it up and down. If you, if you do work side to side, okay, so say I work this way, then I could turn it this way, right? Side to side. Okay, so it's either top is bottom or bottom is top or right side is now left side or left side is now right side. Gosh, go in there. So, uh, I'm still anxious here about um, if my license will be taken away. I do have a possible lead on a electric scooter. Well, they're all they're all electric, right? Battery powered. Um. And I would only use that if I have to go uptown or something like that, you know, so that I can just go on my own. Um, I'm still thinking of maybe getting, a, you know, a used tricycle as well. adult trach because then I could you know get some exercise while I'm going around but it would not do in uh, the winter time nope I know you can get these uh, kind of <coughs> covers for them And I would have it that it's parked in the garage. I would probably have insurance on it. Only for the sake of vandalism or, you know, somebody actually hits me. Not, but you 
it's just hard to to you know realize that you know because this really um, if you're independent this really means you take a hit right because then all of a sudden you're dependent on other people Oh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But if I lose it, you know, driving pri privileges, then I've never had an accident. Like, I've had a fender bender. And there was one time in the big truck that I, it was when Lyle had double pneumonia and I was very tired and I pulled into a truck stop and I should have parked out front where I was comfortable. Instead, I parked in the back and I went to park beside Roger and I, 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 had, I had somebody else's trailer. So the pin setting was different. He had the pin setting further. I can't remember if it was further back or further forward. I don't know. So the pivot point was sharper. So when I turned in, I um, scraped against Roger's trailer and caused... Um, damage on Scooter's trailer. So, tore it right down the side. It was about $800 damage. And that was just a complete oversight. I should have just parked out front. Yeah. But I didn't. Oh well. I mean, accidents happen, right? They they happen. And that's why they're called accidents. You didn't mean for them to happen. It was, you know, I was trying to get Lyle home. I'd been awake for hours. And I started out the day already behind um, because I... Uh, I had taken Lyle to the hospital and and he was diagnosed with um, double pneumonia and I just wanted to get him and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for somebody else to show up that uh, we'd drive together but they never showed up so I lost a good two to three hours there when I should have just gone. I should have just gone. But, oh well. That's like 20 years ago. <laughs> A long time ago. A long time ago. So... Well, I was up at 4 o'clock this morning. I thought it was 4.44. But it turned out, I don't know if it was 3.44 or if it was 4, four minutes after 4. I think that's probably more than likely what it was. And, uh, yeah... So I watched uh, Stitching with Laura this morning again. And she was working on that one I thought was so cute. It's a Christmas one with the, uh, um, with the chair in the front. And I really liked that one. I've been admiring that one for a couple of years already. So I've noticed that um, somebody was saying that they were having a hard time finding this in a printed. And 
I cannot for the life of me remember where I got this. I don't know. I don't know. I have to really... I'll see if I can go back in the videos and see where I can find that. But I know I did. I was working on this last uh, July, so July of 2021. And that was my Christmas in July videos. I'll go back and look. This it uh, it should be there somewhere. But thank you so much for your very kind comments. I do appreciate it. it makes me feel good. So one month from today, Sydney, I don't even know where he is right now. I don't know where he's hiding. He was bugging Jonah here all morning. So one month from today, he's getting snipped. Yes, he is. So, uh... His berries are really go growing. Yes, yes, yes. He'll be ready. In another month, he'll be ready. So. Yeah. So we're supposed to have this kind of weather here for the next two weeks. It's, we're we're going into winter here now. It's uh, that's what it is, and you know, and and that's what Canada is. Especially here on the prairies, it's we get winter. I know down in Ontario or southern Ontario, they've had beautiful weather into the low twenties. But here it is. Nope. It's minus six. Oh. I stand corrected. Minus 5.5. 5. So. After lunch there, I've got to go outside. Well, I have to take the recycling and I might take some garbage out. And then I am, I have to plug Susie in, uh, like her trickle charger. So I will do that. And then in the morning, I will plug her in for an hour or a little bit. Because she just does not like winter. She does not like winter at all. Sounds like somebody I know. <laughs> So later on, I'm going to have a shower. Oh, yesterday I went to, I was working down here at the bottom. And I went to get some more of my thread. All of a sudden, I couldn't find my thread card. I have no idea where my thread card went. I have absolutely no idea. I am thinking probably that Sydney himself, the little turd, probably dragged it off. I've looked everywhere for it. I thought maybe I put it in 
um, a different project. Uh, I don't know. So, but I know I've got lots of thread here, so I I know I can find you know, the, the various colors. So I'm not worried. And I had black out already. So uh, that's why I'm working here on the black. And I was thinking tomorrow I might make a vegan stew. Today, I think I will have cream of cauliflower soup. I'm thinking of making some bread. But we'll see. Oh, I had the munchies bad yesterday. Just so bad. Now, I didn't have anything like cookies or cake or, 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 you know, anything like that that I shouldn't have, right? But I was eating my um, almonds are really good. So I had these, oops, sorry, I had these uh, tamari flavored almonds. So I had some of those. And I was putting stuff away in a, in a bag of cereal broke open. So I grabbed some of those and was just... <laughs> yeah. I know it's this medication. I know it is. I know it is. But I, I just look at it every morning is time to start anew and um, that's what I'm doing oh have you all heard about this um, lettuce shortage yeah that's just going to You know, um, I heard there, Jocelyn there from church there, she said that a three-pack of romaine lettuce, I think she said, cost eight ninety nine, And that's a lot. That's a lot. So they have it now that restaurants will have it that like if you have a hamburger, you have to ask and pay for extra lettuce or lettuce, period. So if you want lettuce on your burger, you have to pay for that. So... Are you all experiencing any any kind of uh, shortages there? Now, they say by the middle of December or so that it should be better. It has something to do with a blight or some kind of a fungus or something. And they had to scrap all the lettuce. But the one good thing about lettuce is that it grows really fast. And you can grow lettuce in your in your house. So I just may go outside and get a couple of my containers there with dirt in it and and grow some lettuce. But I also like kale and Swiss chard and beet greens. And, uh, so, I mean, 
they can also be used instead of lettuce. Now, but if you're a diehard lettuce person, then it might, it might be, you might feel the real pinch. But, yeah. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm just going to finish up this bit of black here. Then I'll show you this. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what I have for next Sunday. What will I have next Sunday? And I'm keeping track of when I get it, you know, just to see if it's a repeat or not. Because after a while, I think I'd, I'd be... I would notice or I'd forget what I had been stitching on. So. But yeah. So otherwise not much else is happening. I have to go to the library tomorrow and to the post office, along with going to the clinic and um, seeing what happens here with my paperwork. And then I have to go over to the um, um, what do you call it? Oh, to the insurance, so they can fax that off. The last time it was that I had, I had mailed it and they didn't receive it or it got lost in the mail or whatever the, whatever happened. And it was a big, it was a big mess. So, so this way here, I know they will have gotten it. And at the insurance there, they will fax it for, for nothing. So. Alrighty. This part is done. So if I have time in the morning, I will make my video. If not, I will make it after I get home. So it could be after lunch by the time it... Yesterday it had uploaded really slowly. Oh, oh my gosh. Very slow. Very, very slow. So, okay. So this is how far I have now. This is the uh, bottom of the window. Right there. and uh, Or the windowsill. So I am just going to, I might do here this hole right here, get that one done. And then I have all up here on the window here. So I have a lot to do. So, but it's kind of nice because now it is that I can get, I can work on some of these projects without getting too bored. So, alrighty, everyone. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. 
And so does Miss Twinkle Toes herself, Miss Lily Bell. And Jonah's up there, and I don't know where Sydney, I don't know where he is. I don't know where he's hiding. I don't know if he's down here in the little bed or wherever. I don't know. Maybe he's uh, over there. I don't, I don't know where he is. He's somewhere, though. All right, everyone. So please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends. Share. Share, 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 and like. You know? Yeah. Just get it out there. <laughs> All right, everyone. So thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven as well as all of yours. So I pray that you will all join me here tomorrow again. God willing, of course. May you all have a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow. Doodle littles, everybody.